Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we have some exciting news and updates for all the Cognizant aspirants. Okay, basically Cognizant has started rolling out the interview emails based on your roles. That is Gen C, Gen C Next and Gen C Pro. We will be discussing everything in detail in this video. And if you have also received your interview email, this video is going to be super helpful. And for all the candidates waiting for interview emails, they will also get to know the updates in this video. So make sure that you watch the video to complete end. And whatever are your doubts, please put them in the comments section so that you can discuss amongst yourself and I will also answer your queries. Before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly bring these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on a regular basis. So guys, uh, one more thing, for all the candidates who are preparing for interviews, I am regularly posting interview experiences and that too latest interview experiences. And guys, some of you were asking me how, this, uh, how are you sharing these interview experiences because currently the interviews haven't started only yet, right? So guys, I have to just tell you that uh, Gen C hiring is going on from January for uh, on-campus drives. So still for those candidates, currently the interviews are regularly going on and these interview experiences are those of those candidates. So it is very good to prepare from these interview experiences because you will also get like, you know, 40% or 50% of the questions similar in your interviews also. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's get started with the first thing that we have, which is the email, okay? I'll basically show you the role email which the candidates have received. This one, dear candidate, greetings from Cognizant. As communicated in previously, you are eligible for in-person technical interview towards Gen C Pro Cyber Security category. Please note that you will be interviewed based on the hiring category and evaluated on technical skills clusters you were assist you were assessed on. The interview will be conducted at and the location is given basically on 8th of April starting at 8.30. Although the interviews will be conducted in person, they will be recorded in the Superset platform. Therefore, you are requested to carry your laptop. Now you can see guys, in the last video, if you have seen my update video, I have already mentioned that they have, uh, many candidates have received the emails for 3rd and 4th of April. Now 8th of April, I also got the updates from some of the can candidates who shared via Instagram DM that they have received for 1st of April. So you can see, uh, already for different different dates, the interview emails are coming. So start preparing now. I am telling you, this is the correct time to prepare, okay? Otherwise, you will be short of time. And this was the email, guys, this, that we have discussed in the last video, which also candidates got. That is, as communicated previously, you are eligible for the next step in the hiring process and are shortlisted for in-person technical interview. And the location is mentioned. And then date is mentioned. Now, guys, you know, uh, some of the candidates have received the previous email, this email after that other email, okay, which means the date change has happened in some of the case. You can see in the email subject also it is mentioned date change and when you change or something. Make sure you are checking your interview, email, not interview, but your mailbox regularly because you know this kind of change has happened, then you will not be even aware also, right? So that is why it is very important to check your emails very regularly. Let's move on to the next things now. See, Cognizant first phase interview dates and roles, mails have been released. I know many of you might have queries uh, like we have not re received our emails. It is like we have given on 7th of March, right? So guys, for those candidates, I just want to tell you that keep an eye okay, on the interview results, but don't keep much expectations because we never know. Okay, because see, sometimes they send rejection emails separately. Sometimes they don't. So we never know whether how much we should we wait. So I would give you a rough estimate around just wait for uh, like 15th of April till 15th of April because see you have given on 7th of March, right? So at least we should wait for one month. Okay, so 7th of April and then we are giving one more week extra. So until uh, mid April you can wait. Otherwise don't need to like focus more on that. Start applying for other companies. There are many other companies which are hiring and I'm also posting on my channel regularly. So please make use of that and apply it. Okay. Okay, let's see more details. Now see, in Gen C, there are three roles that are being offered. Gen C, which is for 4 LPA and uh, next is your Gen C Pro, which is for 5.4 LPA and then Gen C Next, which is for 6.75 LPA. Interview dates are going to range from 27th of March till April, uh, not 4th, but now it is 8th, right? We have seen after rescheduling or changing dates, now it, uh, the candidates are also getting for 8th of April. And interviews will be scheduled in different phases across multiple locations. So there is very high chances that if you have not received your interview email today, you might get it within two weeks or you might get it in the next week. Okay. If you received your interview role email, comment down below for which interview date you are going to appear for your interview and which role so that uh, other candidates will get to know. And I will also post interview experience related to your role and uh, like, you know, according to your dates. Okay. Moving on. So now let's see some selection criteria for different different roles, okay? Because this this was a lot of confusion, right? So how do they usually consider the cutoff or something, right? That based on which 
uh, how many questions you solve, you will get which role, right? So just a rough estimate I have taken. See, for Gen C, next the selection criteria, what they usually take is, you should have good performance in communication skills, okay? Communication skills as in communication assessment that you have appeared for. Next up, your aptitude. So you should got at least 23 plus questions correct okay not i'm not talking about attempting so you know right th around 30 questions were there so you should have got, have got 23 plus questions correct in this aptitude section now in gaming section you should have level about 10 and in technical skills you should have completed like two python or whatever like uh, cluster you had that much and then two sql problems and then 10 mcqs so if you have done this, then there is good chances that you should get do that you will get Gen C next. For Gen C Pro, uh, you should have good uh, moderate to good performance in your communication assessment. Then your aptitude and technical round performance also should be is if it is moderate also is also is fine. But coding uh, skills are important. Okay, like in your coding assessment or your technical assessment, your coding questions. If you have solved uh, a good number of questions, then there is good chances of Gen C Pro. Moving on to the next role, which is your basic Gen C role. For that, if you have basic, uh, like, you know, a basic performance in your communication assessment and aptitude skills, it is totally fine because, you know, we understand that due to uh, some glitches sometimes in the assessments, uh, even though you know things, you can't appear properly. So, in those cases also, Gen C candidates, Gen C role is given to candidates, okay, that is totally fine. And your uh, focus is also not much on the advanced coding part also, like HTML, CSS, if you have done also, that is also good. Okay, so I hope you now have got a basic idea. Okay, if you have any more doubts, please put them in the comment section. I will try to answer. And if you have solved four to five coding questions and had a strong aptitude round, you have high chances of shortlisted for Gen C Next or Gen C Pro. Moving on. Cognizant in-person technical interview details now. First of all, who all are eligible? Candidates who have been shortlisted for the next step in the Cognizant hiring process. What is the next step? Previous step was tech, tech assessment and next step is uh, assessment and next step is your tech interviews okay now when i say tech interviews don't consider that it will only be like technical and not no like uh, managerial or hr questions won't be asked no it's not like that you will have tech plus mr plus hr all types of questions will come to you and if you are not still not aware how to prepare please make sure to go to my channel make sure to check these videos like tech plus hr interview questions tech plus hr plus behavior you will get a lot of understanding and you will have a very good practice moving on Interview details we have already seen, uh, like it is also coming location wise, what I have got to know is like for 3rd of April and 1st of April, uh, Hyderabad location candidates have got and for 4th of April, Bangalore location candidates have got, some of the Noida location candidates have also got their interview emails, okay. And interview mode is going to be in person, which means it is going to be physical. You have to go to that particular location, whichever is mentioned, it is not going to be virtual. However, the interview will also be recorded in the Superset platform, that is, the, what, that is what they have mentioned in their email and you have to carry your laptops along with you, okay, while you are going for the interview. Let's see more things. Okay, what are some of the important instructions? You have to check your email for the official time slot from the superset and you have to arrive 30 minutes early so that you don't miss on any of the important timelines and Cognizant follows a very strict zero tolerance policy. So please don't do any kind of malpractice or something. Okay, moving on. What are the documents that you should have while you are going for your uh, Cognizant interview? You should have your college ID card if you have if it is available with you if not you can take your government id proof like aadhar card you should have three to four copies of your resume your original mark sheets uh, which mark sheets are important 10 12th if you have done diploma then those then ug if you have done like bachelors and postgraduate if you have done that okay now important thing is if, just in case if you don't have original mark sheets try to have you know photocopies and you know you should have a genuine reason like your mark sheets are, are in college or submitted or college or something then you can take copies also it is totally fine or if you can't take copies also try to have the soft copies in your mobile phone or somewhere you should have your degree or provisional certificate if you have received it and industry certifications if you have any and your other relevant education documents that you feel are uh, good to showcase that also you can carry okay moving on Dress code and communication, you have to wear formal attire, which is very important, okay, because you are going to pro present yourself professionally. You have to communicate in English, even though if you are not very good, try to communicate in a broken English. You can't use Hindi because that will give a very negative impact. Be prepared to discuss your technical skills and experience in detail. Or mostly your project based questions, okay, your skill set based question, your cluster based question, everything will be assessed, okay. Now, I was getting a lot of questions, sir. Uh, my, like, I'll give you one example, okay. So, I am good with java okay which was cluster one i opted for it but i got cluster three which was c sharp okay so now you have attempted your assessment in c sharp now you are saying your skill set is java so in this case what will be asked to you in the interview first of all see guys 
I'll tell you for this case what will happen is first of all you have to mention your skill set in your resume okay and then you have to tell about it in your intro uh, like intro okay that this is my preferred language okay that is java is my preferred language like from your end you have to emphasize it in the initial part only so that the interview will get to know that you are much confident in java so they will ask questions related to java but when i say this i don't mean that you will not get any questions on cluster based because see you are coming after attempting the cluster based uh, like you don't know round so you you can expect basic questions from c sharp also which is your cluster based also now there has been cases where no cluster based questions were asked in the interviews okay and there have been cases where only cluster based questions were asked so it is a like mix so it's like you cannot miss anything you have to focus on your skill set also and basic of cluster also because see if you are not very good with the cluster technology i don't recommend you that wasting more time on that instead you should waste more time on your preferred skill set because you know if you tell them because there is very high chances i know the interviewers are very very good so they will give you all the chances to prove yourself so that is why i'm saying okay always mention your preferred skill set and it will be good moving on what should be a preparation strategy so in order to crack your cognizant interview you have to follow basic steps like you know you can prepare for the technical questions based on your cluster it is very important as i already told you you have to practice uh, like apt aptitude see as such won't be asked but you know sometimes they ask like you know very generic like behavioral types of questions that if this scenario will be there so to check your mental capability and your ap mind thinking aptitude okay so that type of question no like numericals and all will come but that kinds of questions will also come your sql query queries you should have to practice and your basic programming problems you you can watch the detailed cognizant interview experience videos that i have shared on my channel it will be very helpful i'm telling you right now itself and for those who have already attempted your assessments you might have faced that the questions also in uh, those assessments like apt and technical also were repeated from my videos only so that's why i'm saying again now for your interviews also please prepare from those videos you have to be confident while answering your questions and be professional in your responses okay try to uh, speak in a professional tone okay not too robotic also but a professional you have to understand the difference between that so final tip is the interview will start from 27th of march onwards so start preparing from now itself and check your email box regularly for all the updates guys i have tried to cover all the latest updates if you have any more doubts please put them in the comment section you can join me on telegram and follow me on instagram you can even ask your queries on the instagram dm make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive all the latest regular updates going forward and whatever next off campus drives are also that is going to come i am going to post it on my channel so make sure that you subscribe to it that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time